I collect Batman toys, Batman posters, Batman records, Batman anything. And I like the Justice League too, so kind of any DC superhero, I'm there. Well, I've always loved superheroes, particularly because as a kid, my favorite show was the 60s Batman show, and I saw it in reruns and watched it every day. So some of my collection actually dates back as far as the mid-60s, and some of it I bought last week because I stalked the Toys R Us and other toy stores to get new finds. Batman, I really, I love the imagery. I, I like Halloween things, so the bat idea really pleases me to begin with. I like that he leads a double life. I like that people speculate about his relationship with Robin. And, uh, and he looks great in, in uh, Lycra and Leather. What more can you ask for in a character? I have a room full of Batman things, and I think that kind of conveys the, the intensity with which I collect. You know, someday it'll be the Bat House, and I'll just move next door, and I'll just, uh, you know, buy another house and fill it with another theme, you know. Anyone who collects anything should never point a finger at anybody else, because we're, it's all the same insane thing. If you collect, you know, fussy little teacups, or you collect Batman action figures, it's all nuts. I have to tell you, it may sound like I'm a total loser, but it's like, there is really nothing better than life lying here and looking around at your stuff and thinking, this stuff is so cool. So I really like to lie in bed in this room and look around and I just, oh, I think it's so great. It's better than Prozac, I'm telling you. Just lifts your spirits, it's just great. You have to display it properly because otherwise it's just a lot of crap. And it's true, I mean, it's just it's a lot of junk otherwise. You know, it just has to be put out in a way that looks really good. So, but it's a pain to dust, I'll tell you. I don't know if other collectors are telling you that. It's a pain to dust. What's in your collection?